Jason Dackman here with SVG. Michael Burnham of Crozeal is here. We're super excited to have these guys uh, aboard with SVG. Michael, tell us a little bit about what Crozeal does. Tell us a little bit about, uh, for those that aren't familiar, uh, what the organization is about. Uh, what we're about is making accessories that we're about making solutions that go around the camera and the lens uh, in most recent case, even connecting the camera and the lens. So we're here to support the people in the in the broadcast industry, in the sports broadcasting industry, in the cinema industry with a wide variety of products. We're a pretty small and nimble company. Everything is made in Germany, so it's up to the highest quality. And we are celebrating 50 years this year. Our business got started by our founder, Alfred Krizil, in 1973. And so in 2023, we've been celebrating 50 years in business. Very cool. Um, in terms of our crew, the sports production sector, tell us a little bit about how you can serve uh, those folks. Well, we make some of the industry standard lens testing equipment. That's one of the things we make. And we do have... Uh, more than one sports broadcaster using our lens projector projecting equipment in their lens room. Basically, they need to check equipment when it comes in, before it goes out, things like that. Um, and we make the industry standard of that. So that's uh, one of the ways that we support you. Also, we're uh, this year we introduced the Meta Mount. This is an E to PL mount adapter, but what makes it unique and separate from anything else on the market is it has a full set of electronic contacts on the E mount side, full set of lens data contacts on the PL mount side, and a 12 pin Hiroshi for through the camera communication. So now if you're a sports broadcaster and you want to use an FX9 with a Canon or a Sony uh, ENG broadcast lens, but you want lens control through the camera, you want to be able to use the grip to zoom and to change the right. iris and things like that, you now have that. You don't have to go around a cold mount. You can go right through it. And that opens up a ton of remote uh, camera possibilities, as well as something for the, the sideline shooter who's running up and down with the action. Very cool. So you talked about remote. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about what's next. Uh, where do you guys see you guys? Uh, where do you see yourself headed in the next, say, 12 to 24 months, especially when it comes to the sports production sector? Well, with the sports production sector, we've been working a lot with uh, Sony. And we the Sony just announced that nice, compact uh, Burano camera. Right. We already have, because we've been working with them behind the scenes for months, we already have the meta mount adapted so that it will bolt right on over the E mount. So it is shaped, we, we're coming out with a meta mount that is shaped for the Burano. And that will give you, again, that great through the camera lens control of a PL mounted uh, ENG lens, which is, you know, so common in the industry. So that's great. Um, we're also introducing, even before that, um, it'll be shipping. The For everyone that's using FR, Sony FR7s on the sideline, um, that's kind of one in the background there. Yep. We have this Krizil motor right behind me that will change basically what that does is it gives you zoom options remote zoom options for um every uh yeah, basically every i'm sorry g mount g master lens sorry mm -hmm. um in the catalog that will fit on the fr7 so currently right now you have three lenses that were remote zoom because they're powered and they're slow this will open up the whole g master fast zoom lens catalog to you as long as it will balance on the fr7 you'll be able to remote zoom it from its control panel and a lot of those are going to be used in the sidelines and things like that on a lot of different sporting events. So, um, and even going into the Olympics, I know they are looking at a lot of FR7s and a lot of, and a lot of remote camera operations, and we are there to support those operations. Very cool, Michael. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. Really, really appreciate it. Um, all kinds of exciting stuff going on with you guys. And uh, obviously, 2023, 2024, is going to be some interesting times. Uh, again, thanks so much for taking the time. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here.